welcome to my channel. My name is Sudarshan. Today uh, I will talk to say about education in England, which means spread it to UK. If you are new to my channel, I request all of you guys please subscribe and the notification bell so that you guys never miss my videos. Okay? Let's get started. An education system CDSE in United Kingdom. In uh, this video, what what I would like to say is that G S G C S E. Which is uh, termed as General Certificate of Secondary Education. It's like uh, it's like the same thing uh, in India that who are taking their board exams. It's the same thing right here. Now uh, it is an exam conducted by the British territories. They are usually aged between 15 and 16. After two years of study, some students can take their exam only if they do the things that the students are capable. All people have to study English and mathematics since they are 15 and 16. So this is a uh, strategy. And uh, this this is also to term that. This examination is very very compulsory for all the students in UK which uh, which everybody are taking that is for sure. It normally takes two years and you take the final exam when you are 16. The equivalent of Scotland is Scotland grade. They are asking why? As well as giving you some useful skills and knowledge and those easy or important stepping stone if you want to get a job or continue studying. Many employers and college ask for candidates to have at least five GCEs so they will come in useful whatever you choose to do. Whereas you must study certain studies like English, Max, Science, DSC levels. There are a range of other subjects you can choose to study as, uh, as well. Some courses are very practical and hands on where others are more academic and involve more reading. I think you should be able to do something to find your interest. So this is the definition about uh, CGSE in United Kingdom. Now let's see the explanation part of it. Explanation part of the CGSE system in United Kingdom. So as I said about the definition of uh, CCS in United Kingdom, what it uh, comes to tell here is that uh, I am very much happy and impressed by the country where you can see so much of uh, students are getting graduated in education without the fail but now what it what I, what I learned from it is that students getting from A to A store it means in uh, A means the very 90% of students are getting A and uh, Getting a and uh, three percent is in yes to one. and that means uh, that I am very much happy to say that uh, the amount of hard work these students do are leading to the success. This is I can see as a development in that. So uh, this, this changed me when I noticed this. Till this I am not no, I'm not known about this. Once I got to know about this, but even though even though I don't have interest to study abroad, I just link the information. Through this, uh, I can, I can, from here itself, I can able to analyze that one of the hardworking students is United Kingdom, where happiness increases. Okay, so this is the thing I just want to say, and uh, but it is clear that the amount of students they study is 10 to 15 hours a day. It's a big appreciation to all of the, those students. I hats off to all of them who are who are studying 10 to 15 hours a day. But there is no state percentage there. there. Even if it comes very very few in, in that country. But when it comes to India, what happens is that as I say about A A star, it is very few. Whereas fail percentage is increases because due to the increase in population. Whereas if you compare Indian versus uh, UK. Whereas the UK population is less than India. This is the difference. So, what I can do, but even though being Indians, 
even though I prefer Indian education system, but still I'm pretty much proud that with UK students are doing performing very well and studying sincerely for their exams and getting good grades. I can see all of that all that for example in a class when there are next students I can see that all the situations are getting graduated from the A star. But very few in A star list of things in A be like that. This means that uh, I should uh, really appreciate the students who are uh, performing very well and studying hard for uh, 16, 15, 10 to 15 hours a day without getting distracted. That itself gives me a motivation on how I can do my exams related to India. So what I am willing to change is that through this I am really going to get inspired and make myself a happy destination. Okay guys. This is it. In the next video, I'll see you with a new topic. Till then, bye bye.